And of course, plenty of those smoke walls, but who will step up to the plate? Who's going to be G2's yard duo in the same sense as Electronic and Simple upon the side swap? Get that uh, pistol start, and I'm seeing a boatload of util. That's four flashbangs, three flashbangs, excuse me, a decoy cosplaying as one. OP250 for Simple, okay, this oh, is uh, a little bit different. Yeah, but a flash and a smoke on the vent, that certainly would be perfect to get down. And they're going for it. A vent dive on the pistol. Now, that Good. has definitely been the sound cue. Electronic has the bomb. He's going elsewhere after they force Jax out of ramp. So they've got a lot of space to work with here. You might want to consider ladder. Right now, marooned on the top Ooh, side floor. Geez. That was a very overzealous overstep. Now, Kenny's got a lot of work bouncing USP from Simple. Bomb down lower. Round practically one. They'll have to come down secret, coming down as loud as they are. Was that the Jax kid at ramp? Oh, it could have been. Yeah. He was on ramp un uh, unarmored. Oh, look at this. This is a not a bad boost. It does reveal where two of them are hiding, but I don't know if they fancy their chances here. Yeah, it yeah. is. Sorry, G2. This one's very unlikely. Yeah, I mean, to retrieve the kit, they'd have to be moving faster than they currently are. Maybe a shot onto Boomage. They could find it. The burst doesn't work out. They need to be on it now. And they don't have the kit. They don't have the time. Good shooting. Oh, nearly finished off simple. Actually brings him down to just six, but that's a triple kill from the man. Oh, look how cool he was. He took his hands off the keyboard. Cool, calm, not even stressed, not even a wiggle of his mouse. All right, well, as we get this one underway, G2, of course, want to bite back immediately. The force by coming out of them. Kenny will be dropped to scout. And you can have Kevlar working with that. So some selfless teammates here on the G2 Esports squadron. Eagles are plenty, four of which, couple of smoke grenades and a HE in the mix up against, sorry, electronic, what, what is that? That? Oh, it looks like his- It's an ancient it, relic, Alex. Oh, it looks like his SMG's got some sort of rare disease. It's misshapen. It's, well, it sounds a bit off too, maybe oh, it's yeah. sick. I think we've got a, a weird audio bug. His SMG <laughs> sounds silenced. It's obviously. not an every day of the week <laughs> SMG just there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Not so often you see the old MP5. The danger zone special at this stage. Yeah, Rushley's getting a bit of a quiver in his loins. Every bullet that's fired from the MP5. Oh, well, there's ah, a headshot. Hello, Nico on yard. There is an AK in play, so if Simple was to lose his life, things get awkward for Na'Vi. But Boomish just died is one of the most... And he could peek this. Ooh. Oh, he spotted him, I think. He's holding warehouse. Yeah, he did. Gander. So now Nico is going to get Molotov'd out. They really want to force this fight. Nico still survives. It's a big yard biff. Not giving it to them though. G2 are making them work for these frags and this is it. Electronics Hunt does Hit find the gap. Perfect. No perfect gap. And oh. ooh, Jax, good catch from Rushley, has walked through secret and knocked the head off of another. Into main, Simple's working on Electronic on the flank and this is a hard shot for Kenny to hit. How is he supposed to deal with this? Electronic is working that heaven flank. Next is supposed to deal with both of them simultaneously. It's not the weapon for the job though. This ooh. is great timing. Yeah, he evades the nade. Ooh, I say that, it actually dunked him down to 15. Looked like he'd gone far enough. Oh, Nexus actually dealt with it. If he hits the other, okay, Electronic. And now Flamey fills the feed. They have a two on two and the bomb now loose thanks to Kenny's hard work. Trying to 15. guys his steps. If he gets behind it, what a shot from Electronic. The MP5 legit. Jax just doesn't have the health now because of that grenade. Electronic down to 40. A Deagle bullet would work into the belly button. It's who clicks first. Jax can wait, he has the kit. Oh, but the timing from Electronic Animals. is flawless. Triple kill on the pistol from Simple, quadra kill on the second. That's quite the conversion. Electronic does make things a little less scary, though it was close. Unfortunately, it puts G2 into an eco all the same. Yeah, the CT side, we've spoken about this many a time. They do not want to reinvest right here. Sure, it seems threatening. Sure, you make it very, very costly. But all in all, you're only operating with 2,400, and that doesn't go very far on the CT side. If you were to force in again, your economy is going to start falling apart. And at that point onwards, Na'Vi could really take over this game. They've opted in with a couple of pistols. No armor behind it, no nades. Hunter only with the USP. Kenny with a CZ, the rest onto Deagles. Look at this stack, holding the off angle there. They just strike. Simple falls, another big scalp to take in the early stages here as Jax continues to find form. Ooh, hard shots. He tried to time it with the Boomich backup. <laughs> a little bit of a go TV lag there, don't fear. It's not your streams. That's you us, not you. Just your sets. <laughs> 
All right, well, space taken from Electronic here, and they're working with a lot of room because there's nobody right now towards the lower bomb site. If they all want to go yard and try and cross towards Secret, they have smoke to do so, so this would be the right call. Electronic saying, hey, it's clear. Come on over here. It's a safe descent. It actually looks like they want to go through Squeaky, so it could be the vent drop to lower. Very pivotal. And this is what I talk about with Na'Vi in that Skybox clip before, being able to stay on their feet, adapt on the fly. They always seem to have an answer. Mm -hmm. Nico's single chance with the headshot onto Boom, which is denied. And so, rest of the round is going to peter out. Mags are found all over the shop. Hunter's Descent met by a Mag 10. So we have learned some things early here, one of which is they're well aware of what Boomich does on their default round. So you will see Na'Vi when they take yard control. Boomich is actually the silo player, and when he jumps on top of main as Electronic mops up another, he always plays behind that little air conditioning vent on top of main. Right. So uh, if that's prepared for, if Nico's ready for that pick, or, or so is Kenny, they could punish Boomich with a couple of free picks. But Complexity, when playing against Na'Vi the other day, it looked like they had them figured out, and then Boomich, as soon as he went down the first time, just started dropping off before he would pivot into his normal jewels and just adapted that way. It was quite simple, quite a quick change around for Boomich there, but these are the type of duels and fights that we need to keep our eyes on. For G2, we know that their CT side defense is Kenny and Nico towards Yard. It's going to be Nexer and Hunter locking down that top site and Jax over towards Ramp, playing all of those cheeky off angles. And that's what Na'Vi will have been able to find out with their demo watching and research. But we're about to get underway with the gun round. So what has G2 prepared for this one? They're comfortable on Nuke. That's not how this team started back when they mixed the French with the international players. It was communication problems. It was lobby pushes. We actually got to cast their first game on uh, Nuke, I believe it was. Back away we go. So holding on to that Mac 10 will be flamey. Ooh, a miss Molly there from Hunter. That's Does... gonna cost him, thankfully. Now, this is an intriguing exchange. Nico holding yard against Electronics solo adventures. And you can see his pivot. He plans to mantle and look for Nico. Nothing found. He's advanced once again, lower control. And that smoke denies the main holds. That's all they need to use. They don't have to invest a full wall into that. It means there's more utility. Oh, they're forced forward. For oh, the fight, Nico's taken down Flamey on Squeak. Boomich, as you highlighted, will be on that main roof. And the bomb's on its way yard as well. Na'Vi can go anywhere here. It's going to be down to Kenny S and how proactive he chooses to be here that determines how well held yard is. Kenny, he doesn't realize there's a timer on this. If you can find Perfecto, Ooh. he's going to swing. Surely he has a look. Oh, this is going to be tough. It's likely traded one way or the other. Perfecto is mantling heaven. He's remained silent. Did they just nade heaven? I think they did. So they're aware this position is open right here. Perfecto's element of surprise is gone. Hunter's even looking in this direction. Kenny's... 30 seconds now. Perfecto has to make a move. He's the only one in a position to do so. Off the ladder, finding the AWPA. Now, blood drawn. Jax is going to have to turn around and deal with him. Perfecto calls it ramp clear as Jax does emerge and reveal himself, forcing Perfecto even further forward. Jax is not ready for this as loud as it may be. It's a good punish. And lower as well. There's nobody home. Wow, Na'Vi on for the 3v5, and it's off the back of Perfecto. G2 can't afford to let this one slip away. This is supposed to be their first weapon round. This is supposed to be them showing they're here to play. And Electronic was just Executed. sitting there waiting for the sound cue. He wasn't even ready for Nexa, but he still stabilizes into a seventh frag. at seven and one. Nico just going to save what he can. Kenny Zorp is down hell. He's actually going to get a bit of an audio cue that Simple wanted to hunt. Doesn't have the time though, so back towards the AWP's location. And RV4. G2 nil. Perfecto. They knew where he was, Chad, as you highlighted. Yeah. Despite that, though, G2 had, didn't have all of their uh, ducks in a row, and the pressure onto Jax was enough. Yeah, they both lost each other for a moment there. But initially, Perfecto didn't see Jax, and then it must have been called from a teammate, and then Jax wasn't aware that there was so much pressure. Like, the fact he circle jumping like that with a knife out, he was actually just trying to get away. So all in all, well handled here from Perfecto, and those are impact frags. We've been highlighting his confidence and his fragging contributions to this team. Very important, integral member. As the scoreline now, 4-0. Kenny will be gifted that AWP back. Pistols out again for G2 here. And they need a bit of a special round right now. Hit a couple of bangers. Kenny searching towards ramp. He's got Jack's just behind him here. So the combo going for the standard play. They might be able to catch a couple of Na'Vi players sleeping, but they're onto the top side quick as yes, you like. Maybe Hunter's got a shot and he has connected into Boomich. Jax's lobby flank oh, does stabilize. Damn, G2. 
They're individuals. That accuracy on that one bullet from Jax's Deagle is enough to put another body in the ground, and they're not done yet. That Ooh. smoke enables Jax to linger. Stick around trophy. Look who it is. Electronic and simple, though. Two on four. Simple. That's that for Nexa. And now Simple finding his second. He doesn't get another chance. The Deagles are very, very persistent. They'll recover an AK for their troubles. It's Nico, Jax, all with some credit. And so G2 couldn't do it with rifles, Chad. Apparently only Deagles is, is the recipe for success so far. Yeah, and we do talk about G2 with three individual aimers of exceptional value. Jax, Nico, and Hunter. AK-47's in their hands, very deadly. Deagles, the same. Just lopping off heads with those bad boys, and it's forced Navi to take a timeout right here. Electronic boasting that 7-2 to two scoreline. We'll be able to drop across an AWP, and we can get back underway with regular programming, but Navi won't be operating with full rifles. Be a Galil for Boomage, you can already see that. They're going to make these purchases work. Looks like Simple wants to operate with an AK here. Not going to be going in with the AWP in the early stages. So they might want to keep their pace a little bit quicker, be a little bit more mobile, get to secret, keep that pressure on towards Yard. Don't let Nico get away with any of his little tricks. Keep Kenny's AWP at bay. If they play a more of a slow, pick-heavy style, that means that there'll be more gaps for Kenny to try and exploit within these mid-round scenarios. UMP for Flamey here, and away we go. We're out of spawn. Let's see type of approach they want to opt for. They do have all the utility they require, and you can see Simple even with the decoy. They've been throwing out that to bait out the Molotovs from the yard defense. He hasn't used it this time round as they've set up the smokes. Nobody home towards yard to deal with that. Nico's already dropped towards lower, so he'll call secret clear within these early stages. A big, crucial nugget of info. But if this is a fast and top pop, Nexa, oh, he's so perfectly flashed as he takes the look. Hunter from CT, Ven in the Melting. flames. Yeah, he does well to find one, and Na'Vi, they just bring a turn of pace. G2 were unprepared for. So quick into the site. You saw the flashbangs from Nexus POV. It's either just stand in the flames, walk through them while flashed, or get shot in the head. Really perfect stuff. I'd love to... I mean, I know it's not going to make much sense. Can you slow stuff down in Skybox as well? Uh, yeah, I can. Could we just see that full top take sl slowly? Sure, let me just set up some camera yeah, angles and thing. stuff. I just want to kind of understand, because that felt so suffocating for the next POV we were in. It looks like Nico's actually going to potentially be hunted down by Electronic here. Ooh. Oh, oh, there we go. Tap in a one head, but quickly found. So that AK will not see another round of play. Jax does look like he'll be maintaining the AWP at least. All right, so what we'll do is we'll start the camera off in yard for you, Alex, and Thank we'll you, show sir. the smokes, and then we'll go towards top site, and I'll slow it down for everybody at home. Now, we can start talking about this. I'll start playing it out. You're going to see these smokes toward yard land. I won't do any drawing right here. We'll just operate with the camera. Um, so this is misdirection. Nico's already towards lower. Kenny has to worry about this smoke wall as well. You can see him up towards heaven, and now it's going to be two players towards top. So next are just dealing with the hot molly. They think that a player could have dropped vent. So we're going to pause this out right here. I'm going to slow in the sky it right down. Now. This is three molly top site in I the first slow it down 20 right seconds. We can't, that's fine. That's the flash. It actually comes through the skylights. Right onto Nexus toes, another molly landing on back site. Their options are so limited. And don't forget, Hunter gets molly. There's one that's in the air right now. I think I can point at it on my screen. It doesn't yeah, here help we you. go. There, it's just landed. Yeah, I can change the camera angle here. So if you're a CT, you're either hut, back site, CT vent. You've already perhaps been looking main, now smoked off. Yeah. I mean, God damn, your options are so minimal. And by the time that first frag's occurred, with the extra space, they molly jacks out of heaven. I mean, the top site take, it works perfectly when executed to, to this level of perfection. Yeah, and not only that, take a look. So Kenny's just rotating in now to try and help top site, but he's been kept at bay by that utility. Jax is stranded over towards ramp, and even if we were to pivot down towards the lower side of things, Nico went down to play secret. You can see he's rotating in. Next is already dead. He had to deal with two Molotovs top hut, and now they just have to kill Hunter, and they already have control, right? So Hunter goes down. Nobody else is able to rotate in. Even uh, Flamey from the vent kills Kenny Heaven. Did they the molly hut that round? They molly top of hut twice. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, sorry, I meant the CTs. Did they do a stop molly? At the start, yeah. yeah so they, just, the start, they, they, they waited did. it out, but of course they're doing all their yard posturing, so it doesn't matter. Precisely. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. isolating two players with a two on five on top side, and Kenny gets absolutely destroyed. Now oh. we can get this one back underway. And how way. kind of them to take a timeout for us. That was perfect. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Five to one to score. Final map. We are looking to lock in our first grand finalist of IEM Beijing, and well, Na'Vi have made a very strong case to start us off. Five T rounds, one with only Deagles from G2. We haven't seen them win with weapons in their hand. It has to change, it has to change now. Two smokes outside flying through the sky very early, a CT1 to counter the aggression, and it is Nico going for an outlandish look towards the silos. There's a lot of action yard. This is an important frag. He's taken the jewel and Boomich has won it. Knocks the Kovac on his bottom. 
And now Kenny filling the gap as best he can. Boomich on that roof, though, is hard to push off. He Once he gets into that position, he can drop his util. He's even dropped off, not interested. They've got the bomb down lower already. Electronics there, Simples there. Jax has to respond. Yeah, well, right now, with all the yard control that they have and the fact that they've left a player out here late in Perfecto, rotations are covered off. They can just go lower with the utility. Flamey just holding lobby. As soon as he gets any contact, he can call this, but they need to get past Hunter. He's tucked Ooh. on in towards lower with Jax. They boost for this angle, or they just walk it loudly into Hunter. Tested, and he's not willing to commit to that. He knows that his survival is integral. They might want to pivot out of this. Oh. Boomich has found an opening. Big frag from Jax. Oh, oh, big opportunity. Simple hiding in the smoke. He hasn't moved a muscle. Hasn't flinched. And now Jax has another chance. Baited in. Simple's pushing the site. He's got 13 bullets left to work with. The incendiary is enough. Simple's head visible. And he hits the shot. That's going to relieve a lot of pressure now. The bomb can surely go down. Nixer from the vents, though, makes things difficult. Perfecto's hunting, trying to find the trade kill. And he has successfully done it. Na'Vi are a menace, and they can pivot wherever they want. Simple's planting lower. Kenny was all heading towards the top site. Wait, I think he was going top because he thought that that came from Perfecto, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kenny, you got anything for me? Simple's in the off angle. He's managed to catch him off guard. There's a chance and a really big one now, especially with the smoke kit. Perfecto, where are you? Decon door. Will he check close left? He actually closes it. This is huge. He'll get a sound cue to Perfecto, though. Just as Kenny takes a cursory glance, looking towards the windows, he catches the perfect timing. God, I love some Counter-Strike like that. Kenny is quick. You can see just the reactions there. That's Perfecto. Fast. Just, you know, you're visualizing what your opponent's doing. And if you've closed the door, that's your one second to look decon. That's yeah. one second to look window. And that's when Perfecto is no longer vulnerable to the sound cue of the door. Really cool stuff. G2 have some questions to answer right here. The money is okay. They could go for a purchase. They could justify it with the amount that they're working with, but it won't be full. Jax did a great job here with two kills. Playing that lower rotation, never easy, but simple. Keeps it simple. Takes him out of the equation. And once they have that bomb down, Kenny, we thought he was opting to save back and forth, maybe even trying to cut them off at the pass if they went vet to top, but was not to be. And you can see why he has to battle for a round like that. They need to start working on adding a few more to the tally here. Scoreline six to one. Navi really running away with things, and it will be. Oh, okay. It's one of these conservative buys. So G2 are getting the 3,400 in the next round. They're just going to purchase to roughly 2K left over. Kenny wants to leave more for the AWP, but you can see how threatening this buy still is. So it's obviously not just pistol upgrades. We've got a shotgun on Jax, which he plays really, really well off angles on ramp. We have Hunter on a UMP, seems to be a bit of a specialty weapon for him. And Deagles for the other three, which is where they found success. The only round that they found success was through these Deagles. Let's see if they can replicate. Nico lost this duel last time. He's not going to re-peak this time. Navi looking very well drilled here. We've got a real point to prove against this G2 roster. Simple. Oof. Oof. Very quick adjustment. He tried to take the shot. Pot shot. Ooh, okay. They're going to push ramp right now. A bit of a late lobby crunch. I don't hate it. Flamey's just spamming away. He's going to get company any moment. Hunter can push the hunt. You're going to have a couple coming through ramp. Perfecto's here to help Navi things out. returning to lobby. This yeah. is about to be an absolute brawl in lobby. This is going to get messy. All right, let's go. Horse race casting probably necessary. Fortunately, Nexa maybe slows it all down. He's actually caught Boomich. And they park it. This gamble on the Deagles is working out. They do try and hide the rifle, but it may not be. He's throwing the orb away. We're on four. Hunter's lost his life. They do throw the topside util. Do they just walk in? Is that the strat? Hexa cleaned. Oh, so perfect from Simple. Doesn't lose a point of health on that exchange. And now they have the numbers. It's a safe topside plant. Flamey intermittently checking his push on lobby. Oh, the timing. Good stuff. Jax's shotgun works, simple. but Simple head on a swivel. All headshots. It was dangerous for a second there, but as soon as they get those kills on towards that top site and find out G2's hold, you can see them scrambling for position on the map. I would have liked it if they'd just taken the fight to Na'Vi and kept it real messy in towards lobby, but they weren't to know. They thought they had lost control over towards yard, which they had, but Na'Vi opted to go back through the lobby position, simply even throwing away that AWP to make sure it doesn't fall into enemy hands. And they may as well continue to operate here with the five AK-47s. That's when they've looked the most dangerous. Simple isn't necessarily needed on the AWP on a map like Nuke. And Nico trying his luck there, seeing if he can pick up 
the AK. Perfecto denies, and here we go. Seven to one. This has to stop now. G2 cannot continue to get absolutely beat down like this. We take you back to the start of the year. Katowice, the grand final. Nuke was one of the key maps. It was a 16 to four victory for Na'Vi, and that was with them starting on the CT, uh, sorry, starting, yeah, starting on the CT side. They managed a 14-1 first half on the CT side of Nuke. And they're doing just as well here on the T half. Now the guns will come back out for G2. Hunter takes space, gets two and a half kills. The dink on the flamey is good. The trade comes through. Nexa wants more. Oof. Perfecto silences him. Okay, that's quite the way to start it off. CTs try and throw their bodies at them, but it's not translated successfully. That flash is so good. Kenny's oh, responded well. Yeah, but he's dropped into the side. That left swing is too good. Na'Vi are looking so drilled. Perfecto's double is the one to equalize alongside flamey. Everyone's having their moment in the spotlight. And yeah, Flamey will make it three. Eight. On the T side as well. Yeah. This is where I expected to see, you know, the, the semi-final. This is where it was going to culminate in a best of one bare-knuckled brawl between some of the very best to hold a mouse and keyboard and play Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It has so far been unable to meet expectations, at least from the G2 camp. Na'Vi looking so fierce on this T side. And all the different looks, they've all been... So rigid and so well thought out, there hasn't been many room for G2 maneuvers. Nico's trying something here. Yeah, they might need to go for more of this yard control. Get involved in the game, start fighting, but oh, it's not even going to get off to him. Oh, not enough. Look at that. Electronic's so aware. It, it, when you're talking about players who look very comfortable in those yard smokes, Nico is normally one of those, but Electronic is as well. They both play the same position on the CT side, have the same role to fulfill, and right now Electronic is getting the better of Nico. This duel will continue once we get over towards that T half for G2, but they might not have any rounds to work with. That's how quick this one's falling apart. Hello, Hunter. That's On a gun for the job. Fantastic flank. It is the worst possible weapon for the job, and now Nexus Deagle loses its tarnish too. You might as well have been spitting at them from that distance. Probably been more disrespectful than the CZ. And here we go. Another death in the low sight. Hunter, perhaps... Set for success onto the low HP of Electronic. Go on. Has to win that. One Go. bullet would have Whoa. done it. He even gets a third. They're keeping him so quiet here. They the, are. the fact that Kenny only has three kills and, and his is one of the most integral jobs being the swing player with the AWP. Normally that AWP presence is felt. You dissuade, you rotate in when your teammates are calling. Yeah, contact ramp, you're coming over, you're helping. Yep, yeah, action yard, you swing <sighs> back with the AWP. Kenny's not even getting opportunities to have the AWP that often. One thing I will say in, in the Na'Vi conversion and convincing conversion here is it would certainly set the scene for quite a grand final. In terms of best of five, G2 have clearly uh, indicated that they're not fully developed in a five-map pool. That's true. Could the have led to weak. a very lopsided best of five, given that their absence of finding three comfortable in a best of three at this moment in time. Na'Vi have proven that they definitely have got the depth and understandably so, a much longer standing roster than what G2 have got here. Integrating not only Nico into the roster, but fluctuating between both Jax and Hamanek. Here we go. This is what you wanted to see, Chad. Yard aggression. Not a single T AWP, though. Maybe Kenny can punish this. Oh, it's I think the flash. He's been spotted. They're trying to close Burning. the gap as fast as they can. An elevated position. He flicks, burns down it. It's a one for one. I think Kenny will take it, considering how poor he's fared on the yard area. There's two more aggressing, using the smoke as best they can. The Kovac cousins hold the line, simple to cross. And Boomage peeks out. What timing. Just as his teammate Simple wants to get set up for the cross, Boomich then drops onto the roof. They are a threat every time they go for these yard biffs. And look how fast Simple's taking space. So much pressure on right now. Jax oh. is having to push lobby. You and Flamey's usually there. In. Look, Flamey always just late arrival back to sweep into lobby. They're so considerate of the CT reactions. There's so many options right now for G2 as well. They can go anywhere. Yeah, they, they have to worry about everything. It's like, can they be behind us? Yeah, Jax has to move. Can they come up ladder? Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, we've lost Laura as well. Hunter's down there. They have to consider the entire map given up. Hunter's got one chance to do a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, it's only going to be the one for one. He wasn't clean into the first. He couldn't adjust to Boomich in time, which does seem to spell trouble. And simple. Yeah, Jax. Yeah. He wants the knife kill. Oh, simple. He wants a knife kill. No, 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 no. I was about to get a bit awkward. So pulls the trigger, executes Jax, and the low sight plan is going to start to materialize.
This is a drubbing. Yeah, I want to uh, try and paint the picture of hope here, but it's difficult to do so. With, you mentioned it before. The only round that G2 have is with those Deagles. Otherwise, there's been a couple of threatening moments. It's been close but no cigar, but that doesn't matter. And Simple might even take away this rifle. He is very, very diligent on the clear. Nexa gets the better of him. We'll be able to pick up an AK, but won't be going for the round. And if we just take a look at the scores, you've got Perfecto Electronic and Simple all in the double digits. Boomich and Flamey not too far behind. Boomich might go down here. Swings in. Nexa gets another. So he's been able to bolster his score with two frags here, but he eventually falls. And when you do look at the fragging output for G2, everybody's being kept quiet. Nexa on six. Jax on six. Four for Kenny. And I think most of those have just been like those Deagles, CZs. Yeah. It's been nothing, nothing to convince us. Let's just use Nexa as the example. Nexa got two exit kills there, and he only has six frags. So you take those exit kills out of his score tally, he only has four frags. So this could not be going better for Na'Vi. It was hyped as hell as well, just to see such dominant sound of Na'Vi. Everyone is playing their part. Everyone is fulfilling their role. There's only like three, maybe, I'm exaggerating, yeah, four frags separating top from bottom. That's a team effort from Na'Vi. And again, look at the yard space, electronic demands. Hunter's already lost his life. Boomich is down the vents. How does, how do they have so much control so often, so quick? Kenny's trying to deny it. He's been caught by Flamey on the hunt. They've got low sight. It's just horrible. The comms would be so stressful if you're G2. Boomich has even spotted you out. A molly from Perfecto, likely. Or even a bullet. Well, put him out of their misery, it feels at this Honestly, point. Honestly, yeah, they are just yelping. Someone come over and end it. It's one. One round, is, and that one was with Desert Eagles and Kevlar. Na'Vi are playing a near-perfect T-side here on Nuke. I know what's happening. Na'Vi want to keep us on schedule because they know Vitality Complexity's That's next. They know that there's a lot of fans one. standing by, so they want to make sure they keep the day on schedule because ah. we have EG Chaos to close out the day. They just want to make, okay, all right, all right, we know the broadcast needs to stay on track. Yeah. We, let, we let map two drag on a little. We won't do the same here on map number three. I mean, Perfecto might actually finish this half with three deaths. That's unheard of. Okay, G2, the best they can muster now is four rounds. So let's start looking and painting a picture if they want to get into this one. Close utility usage coming out from Na'Vi as well. Towards the red box, I believe, that landed. It was a middle yeah. throw. He's got a lineup for that. So they're ready to harass. Oh. There we go, Kenny. Finally, Electronic is... Sent packing from his secret descent. He's been completely uncontested there. Jax is bringing a little bit of ramp aggression to us, and Perfecto's the one to stare him down upon the nutmeg. So this favors Jax slightly, right? I think so. Jax should be pre-aiming this. he take the frag he needed to. And swinging in to Kenny's orp is flamey. Here we go. That's a or near flawless G2 round. And all they have to do is just do that again. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right, 10 HP, simple, one or four. If he's full HP, I might get excited. Okay, hold up a second. He evades the nade. Okay. Oh, yikes. Yi, yi. Just kept lining up. It did. Heads and Kenny's AWP isn't going to be saved, so oh. they won't actually get to have an AWP for round 14. That, and that was instrumental. That frag from simple has actually had ramifications. Oh, no. They won't afford an AWP. Okay, well... And Kenny got two kills on two different sides of the map with his AWP in the round prior. I think Na'Vi might just go for a bit of an uppercut here, just a finishing blow, something quite quick. I liked know. that top take again. Maybe the, the yard smokes and blowing up with all the Molotovs. They it could was get away with it for sure. Very punishing. Even if they wanted to do misdirection towards ramp, they can still isolate defenders here. Looks like they're setting up for exactly that. Oh, yes. Welcome to Electronics Molotov Tutorials. There it is. That's it. Center and of the circle thing. The name at the uh, isosceles triangle. Into the site, flashed. Nex is hiding in his own smoke, and that's the change up. That's the answer. You smoke on it, doesn't get his early frag from Hut, and they have successfully weathered the storm oh. of the initial util. And they dumped all the utils. Not oh just my the lord, they got util, one flash. One flash. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool change up. I was wondering when we watched it in the skybox how you could counter it. Both teams are operating with very little right now. It's just four flashes left over for G2 and one on simple. So this comes down to the jewels, and so far, Navi have been getting the better of them. They're not working with as much room right now. There's no presence towards Yard, but if they can isolate some fights and they're able to take down Hunter, who is that low HP player behind the vent, then they're back into this Na'Vi. And these mid-round situations where they play in flux up and down the vent, they love the squeaky control. The bomb is down towards lobby, so Na'Vi are just looking for kills before they make any decisions. Yeah, I just, just want to let everyone know it's a 4v4 as well. Oh. 
you know, HUD neglecting to show you that. A boost. You don't see this one pay off all too often. And, oh, he spots one. Didn't necessarily, actually. But Nexus Jiggle does reveal him. Kenny could be peeking in from heaven. Oh, they're hearing all of this. This a CT vent position. 20 seconds. Walking in. Simple does go down. The wall bang won't succeed. Electronic wrapping into Yard does win his duel. 15 seconds, though, as Jax is pushing the lobby. And they don't even have the bomb. So this will be a G2 third. Na'Vi falling a little shy of the mark here. Foot off the gas in the final moments. The money's good. They will be able to buy going into the last round of play. So no worries there. 12-3 is much better than an 11-4. 11-4 is... Uh, According to Zonic, one of the most deceiving score lines that we have in all of Counter-Strike. Now, I think that would make sense if Na'Vi were on the CT side and then G2 had a chance to do exactly what they're doing right now back to them. But the fact that G2 are on the CT side and the best that they can master is four rounds, very, very problematic. Four is not a bag whatsoever. You know the T sides can be good, but we're talking more like nine, six, eight, seven. I don't know, man. 11-4, this is wild. It's not even guaranteed 11. It could very well be 12 as Flame, he puts another nail into the G2 coffin. Kenny, through the flash, through the smokes, he's trying it. He's trying to take an angle and it will pay off. No, Simple bests him. Oh, he had the line of sight just under the smoke. Simple, too damn good. Two opening frags favor RV. Nico has got so much unanswered questions here in Yard. Are they going to arrive late? Electronic finds another as he lingers in this fading smoke. Nico couldn't spot him. Dances with Flamey. Flamey does execute. And so 12-3, the reality of this half. You know Jax is the ramp player. And Simple's not going to miss. Simple hasn't missed. 16 to 9 for him. And 12 to 3. G2, grand final dreams fading away with every passing Na'Vi round. They're four away from the grand final.
So is this it, Chad? Do I start ringing the alarm bell? Do I say uh, G2 is dead? Uh, it's all over. Red Rover. Carlos oh, just wasted so much Carlos money. Carlos just wasted so much money. Let's all jump to conclusions. Yeah. Better pretend that Reckless is going to be the hope of uh, European yeah. League of Legends now. Everything else is ruined. It's all over. Okay, well, I'm glad we've set the scene perfectly. No, look, there's not a great chance that G2 bring this one back, but I'm hoping for a little bit of fight. Now, remember, this is still early days of the G2 project. Oh, damn, GG Dog Bear. No need to be so, so apparent about it. The odds are in favor of Na'Vi. The score is 12. Boomich, he's got a HE on the pistol round, and he might even throw it into three of them. Oh, dear. They're not going to love this oh, whatsoever. The timing on this is everything. When do you do it, Boomich? Drop That would up. be nice. Oh, the flash has screwed it's him. It's way too late, and now he's caught. Okay, well, Jax is low. A four on four. Bomb scooped up. Kenny dicing ah. it out. He's actually dumped on Jax with the Never nade. Mind. It still works. Flamey finding the lobby flank. Now awkward for Kenny, and he's gone. Okay, well, Na'Vi are three rounds away from a grand final and are looking like the better team. Na, 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 na. No, no, no. Are we allowed to do that or are we going to get taken down? I think that was enough. Okay. I think that we're allowed uh, six. That was five seconds. Okay. Five, five, I have no idea. And it was Phone so, rings. The problem is it was so perfect as well. It sounds exactly like it. Yeah, well, yeah. I've been really working on my pitch and tone. You know, things are effed up, though, when the bloody CS music kits will get your Twitch clips DMCA'd. Yeah, bloody Nora. That's... Do everything on silent mode, guys. Yeah, turn Sing off your music kits. Wouldn't want to lose your career. We're going to make the sounds for this one for you guys in this round, just in case. How is your Glock sound? Pretty good. Okay. Audio, can we lower gun sounds, please? Chad's offered to give us uh, his Glock. Brilliant. Wait, hold up. I need to get one more Glock shot. I'm just trying to mimic trying the to sound get it right, here perfectly. Yeah. No, that doesn't work. It's not right. No, that's not the right way to make that sound effect. P -p 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 is it a put? I don't know. Can I hear it again, please, Kenny? Can he shoot it for us, mate? Click, click, click. Oh, okay, well, we heard the right. death sound. Yeah. Oh, my org is wait, really good. Yeah, wait. give me your org. Oh, it's really good. Oh, damn. I've got a great org. I don't have a Glock. I can do the oh, pitter patter footsteps. Got, you got the MP9? Uh, yep. Brrr, brrr. That's solid. Thanks. Been my working turn. on that one. Brrr, brrr. Okay, 14 for Na'Vi. A quick anti-eco. No one loses anything. Everyone gets $600. Thank you, Audio, for playing with us. I appreciate you. The acoustics you. are quite nice in here. How have you, how's your skr? Uh, I've never... You've never I've skirted? Never, I've ne no. No, let's get it, man. I don't yeah. know. These are just words I see people type. A word that I... Because I've been watching um, lots of videos. I think the kids are calling them the TikToks these days. You're not watching them, are you? Well, apparently what I am watching is TikToks, yeah, you but it's succumbed. just on other... You're watching recycled on, TikToks. It's on other forms of social media. It's like you go on 9gag and think you found an original meme. Well, I heard um, some Australians, they were doing a bit of a gag, and this girl called her dad a squeezer. And I remember that back when I was a kid. What's a squeezer? Like a juice squeezer? No, you're just like... Even you're a bit of a twat, you're a oh, squeezer. Okay. All right. Solid. A bloody squeezer. Oh no. Boomage is empty. Oh, I'm flashbacks. Straight through the smooth as nades as well. This is an utter murder. Honestly, think this. some of the things Nelvi are doing to G2 here are illegal in several states. Oh dear. Their bonus round does not get more bonusy than that, Chadney. Uh, and this is just hopeless now for G2. They'll be limping into the final round of play here. Operating with very, very little. Maybe some Galils. Mac 10s, give her a top rush, boys. Give it a crack. You don't have anything else to work with. Maybe go yard smoke straight down secret. See if you can pull a fast one on them. But this is looking a lot like that Katowice grand final. Yeah, man. An absolute beat down. This time, Navi have done it from the T half. Just the better of G2 on a map like Nuke. Smokes go out. Hopes are dim. <sighs> and Org boosted up outside to confirm any info. The flashes are actually good enough. Alongside with the smokes to keep simple guessing. And Boomich can't control his spray. Neither can Perfecto. Just about pulls it across into Hunter. So three on three. Simple trying to tidy things up. And he has Run and hide. found himself a Jax. There's only two frags separating Na'Vi from the finals. Just make it one. And Nexa, he's gone. Na'Vi, they have just one-two punch G2. Kicked them while they're down.